A New York state judge stopped the regulation that all health care providers receive the seasonal flu vaccine. The decision came after three nurses filed a lawsuit saying mandatory vaccinations violate their civil rights. The potential regulation is dividing health care personnel at Stony Brook. Jenna Antin, a student in the Physician's Assistant Program, received the vaccine but doesn't think the new regulation is fair. If you really are opposed to it and don't mind getting sick, then it shouldn't be the government telling you you have to get it. The injection is usually painless and can't give you the flu. Some healthcare professionals think the potential regulation is in the best interest of the patient. It's been shown that when healthcare workers are vaccinated, it's much better in terms of the amount of healthcare workers that are becoming ill with influenza and the amount of patients that get influenza too. Medical director and infectious disease expert Susan Donnellan thinks those opposed to the regulation don't have good reason because the seasonal flu vaccine isn't the only one mandated for healthcare professionals. The people that are opposed to the mandate um, have a bit less precedent to stand upon because they're already, they already need to be compliant with things such as uh, varicella immunity or receipt of the varicella vaccine, uh, hepatitis B vaccine series, MMR, annual tuberculosis testing, and so on. So the, the idea of having a mandatory influenza vaccine actually already has precedent both in New York State and nationally. The vaccine is already mandatory for employment in many health care institutions across the country, but New York was the first state to require it. This is Alexandra Flahiv reporting for Stony Brook University.